All right, guys, we're back on the Cadillac. Sorry, it's been kind of hectic. I had ear surgery and, I don't know, kids, summer. The month of June flew by. Right now it is August, what is today? August 5th. So I got this quarter panel primed. I did up to the seam here, up to the body line. There we go. Uh, up to this top body line. Once I get the car down onto the ground, then I'll do this top part. I gotta do, I'll have to prime this. And then I'll have to prime this. Right here is some a factory lead seam, kind of wavy and ugly. Same thing with here, there's a factory lead seam and it was kind of low. I think the middle of the seam is like right here and runs right across. And then they got, looks like another seam right, right in here somewhere. So anyways, I, eh, it wasn't horrible. It, a factory would have been fine with it, but we fixed that. So come around the back. We got this pocket all cleaned up, prime that. I'll still, I gotta sand this jam. I'll do that once the car's down on the ground. I did prime this quarter panel as well. Uh, the only little bit of body work I had to do was right around them holes. Well, actually all of these holes. The trim was put on too tight and it dimpled it, so I just had to kind of smooth it out. The bottom of this rocker, or the bottom of this quarter panel was really good, so I, there was no body work down there. So now we're onto the driver's rear door. Uh, I got, I was gonna prime it. I got it all blocked to one with 180 and I was about to prime it, ran my hand over it, and it just doesn't quite feel right. I'm fighting a couple spots, there's a high spot here. I think I need to take the door off and get it on a stand and kind of go through hammer and dolly it. I'm not really happy with how much body work is on or how much mud is on this. So I want to take the door off and do it on a stand. But anyway, so we're skipping this door. We're onto the front drivers, onto the driver's door. There's a little ding right here. There was a little ding right there. And then the same thing, they put the trim on too tight, kind of dimpled it. So I just put a really thin coat right there. The rest of the door is fine. And then we're moving on to the fender. Uh, the only, I got a little tiny, I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of shiny. There's a little low spot right here. I'm gonna see if I can't sand around it. Usually if you got a low spot, rather than just filling it, you can usually sand uh, around it. And then that'll kind of bring everything, it'll smooth it out. It's got a little dent right here. And then I put the rocker pan, or I, I welded that patch panel on the bottom of this and I gotta go through, block this out and then there's gonna be a little seam right there that'll need some filler. That's pretty much it. So on the rocker, uh, there was just a little bit of low spot right here but it was just low enough where I needed to use some Bondo and then, or some filler. Uh, don't use Bondo brand Bondo, it sands like crap. You'll hate it, so don't use Bondo brand Bondo. So, but anyways, so I got a skim coat there. Come along. I don't know if you guys can see or not. So, I got it blocked out. It looks like low spots, but it's all nice and flat. Uh, right here is a factory lead seam. And if you go underneath, you can see where they overlapped it. And then right here would have been some lead. And it wasn't bad, bad, I mean, Factory, it would have been factory approved, but uh, I don't know, it's not Domino approved, so we're filling it. Uh, and that's it. We're hoping today to be able to prime this door and the rocker. And I'm going to hit it hard and see if I can't do the fender as well. So we'll see. Uh, the fender, the only part of it that really needs to be primed is probably the back half, but we'll prime probably the whole thing. I gotta look at the top of the fender. I'm pretty sure there's some, I'm almost almost guaranteed that there's gonna be some dents up here somewhere. I gotta get the light up here and see. Usually there's some dings in here from people putting their elbows on it when they're wrenching. So, but otherwise it's blocking out pretty good. So if you guys are wondering what I'm using for sandpaper, so this epoxy, when I put the epoxy on, I put it on thick and low air pressure and it gives it kind of a lot of orange peel, uh, which I like because I know I'm getting it on thick. 
And so I'm first blocking it with 120 and then I'll block, re-block everything with 180 and then I prime it. And then when we start, when we do the actual primer, then we'll see, I think I'll probably do the same thing. We'll just hit it once real fast with some 120 and then we'll block that out with 180 and then re-block it with 220 and then 320. Maybe not that many steps. Maybe just we can get away with 180 grit, 180, 220, 320, and then we can paint. So that's where we're at, guys. Uh, we're slowly plugging away on this thing. Like I said, I'm hoping by the end of the day today to get this rocker and the door and primer and maybe the fender. We'll see. Maybe the fender. We'll see. So, and then if I do that, then basically all the body work is done. And then I can get this thing down onto the ground. Well, actually, while it's up, we might go through and just block all the, block the sides and get sand all the stuff that's on the bottom while it's up in the air. And then we'll get it down onto the ground, focus on the hood, the roof, these sail panels. They, I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Let me see. So move that out of the way so if you guys can see just barely you can see how it gets a little funky right here probably doesn't help having that so there you can kind of see it's you can just barely let me see if i can get you at the right angle you can kind of see the seam for the where the lead ends so there's lead right in here and I'm thinking we're gonna get this thing down on the ground and I might fit the trim to this before, or when we go to fix that. And then I don't know what happened, but there's like a bunch of hammer blows in here. I think it's factory. I think, you know, when the, back in the 60s when they were building these, it wasn't robots, it was guys. And I think when they went to go fit stuff, it didn't fit quite right. So they just gave her a couple smashes with the hammer to bring the seam down, or to bring this corner down. So we'll see. Once we get it down on the ground, we'll put the trunk back on it. We'll get the trunk fit really well. Uh, the hood already fits really well, so once we get it down on the ground, we can take the hood off. Uh, I gotta sandblast and strip the bottom of the thing. And yeah, so plugging away. I got the, I've been sanding the hood down with 36 grit or 40 grit, 40 grit. And then just to strip it down now, I'll go back over it with 80, epoxy it. And then once it's epoxied, then I'll reblock it, find any low spots, fix those, and then it'll get primed. So, uh, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right. Sorry, it's been so long since my last video, and I kind of got some stuff done since then. But like I said, I had surgery about two months ago that kind of put me out of commission for a month, and then the month of June flew by. So, all right. Till next time, guys. Take care.